Hey folks, JD here, and today we've got this little beast. This is the SJRC S20W. It is a photography drone, a GPS entry level photography drone. It has a movable gimbal, it has a HD camera, four brushed motors, it has an SD card to the back, and it has a battery which gives us a full flight time of about eight minutes. I like it, I like the look of it, I like the style of it, it looks clean, it looks nice, and I'm very much appreciative of that. Uh, so I can't wait to take this up, so what's on the agenda? Well, I'm going to calibrate it, we're going to get the compass sorted, we're going to take her up, we're going to fly her over this beautiful field that we have here, over this little nature reserve here, just see exactly what it is that we can see. Um, hopefully that gimbal is going to move as well, unlike it's uh, this little guy's brother we had a few months ago. Uh, so with that folks, let's get her on the mat and let's get her calibrated. Alright, so here we have it. So I'm going to do is just turn on this quadcopter, hopefully, click and click. There we go, quadcopter is on. Now it's flashing red because we are uncalibrated. So what I'm going to do at this point now is just attach my phone to the FPV boom here. Let's turn on the transmitter. Let's give it, oh, gimbal's moved. Let's give it one sub and one down on the left analog stick just to bind it. Now I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi. Oh, it has already. Oh, perfect. There we go. Now then, let's open up the SJ... SJ GPS app and let's choose let's have a little look let's just have a look at these two models they look exactly the same so I'm going to go for the 720 model and it looks like yeah we have got video I'm just turning around my phone now there we go so we have got video pick up the aircraft turn it horizontally um, the red and blue lights will always uh, sorry the red and blue lights are always on the rear. Note when turning around clockwise, counterclockwise. Okay, so I'm going to turn this up a little bit. I'd recommend that you guys... I'd actually lift this a little bit more, but I'm trying to get this on camera. <laughs> if you lift it more, then you should get... You shouldn't have any interference. There shouldn't be anything stopping you getting a perfect calibration. Okay, let's try the other way. It's not going very good nose uh, head down horizontal lamp constant calibration success okay let's do this nose down place the drone in a horizontal surface and wait for the gyro to calibrate there we go and there we are we're all calibrated right well that was okay so with that what I'm going to do now last time when I was when I was um, when we were going to fly this or when we were going to fly this one's brother rather I used the record on the transmitter and what I found with that is I had loads and loads and loads of beeps beeps all the time it made it very 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 awkward to fly because of that constant beeping from the transmitter so today what I'm going to do is click the left thumbstick twice put it into speed mode one I've also ensured that I've recorded my screen, but I am also going to record this flight as well. So with that, folks, let's take her up. All right, we are up. And straight away, we've gone from four batteries to two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the recording of the drone from the pure footage and I'm just going to record directly from my screen, folks. Very sorry about that, but I want to try and see if I can maximize this battery a little bit. And I want to see exactly if we can get a bit of a flight out of her. The aircraft is showing half battery already gone, and I'm really not happy about that straight off the bat. Right, so as you can see, we're gonna just take her out ever so gently, fly her around, see exactly what we've got here in front of us. It looks like, this looks quite nice, you know. Okay, it has just started to pick terrain, but I'm hoping, judging by the clouds and by the sky, that's gonna just blow over. So, what I'm gonna do is, as I'm in front of her here, one of the, my bugbears of the last uh, SJRC copter is that I couldn't use the gimbal. So what I'm gonna try and do now is move the gimbal. Ha <laughs> ha, and it moves. Brilliant stuff. There we are. Excellent. So that works straight off the bat. No problem. As this is now facing me, let's try follow me as well. So I'm going to just try follow me. 
Now you do get a very annoying beep with follow me, but you should also find that the quadcopter starts to move. So if I just turn on just so I can see where I'm going, there we go, oh, oh, hone in on me little copter, no, you're just going to spin wildly, yeah, well that's exactly what you're going to do is just spin wildly, okay, I'm going to take that follow me off because I'm really not happy with how that looks, so I'm just going to let the quadcopter get its bearings for the minute, you can see GPS moving the copter and just locking it in place, well, it's not really locking it that much, Let's bring it down a little bit. Turning on follow me has seemed to have started quite a heavy whirlpool effect, something that we didn't have right at the start. Let's have a little look at her now. She's a little bit better, but not much. But that gimbal moves, and that is awesome, because last time with the SJRC, I think it was the S30, the gimbal didn't move, and it was really, really annoying. Now we've lost even more battery, we are down to just almost a quarter battery so i'm just going to keep my eye on that as i take this out we've got full satellite we're looking very good and she's out quite a way as well i think i just hit the geofence there because she came flying straight back towards me what i'm going to do is try that again i'm going to push her into speed mode two and I'm going to try and see because I went straight out and then the copter came straight back at me. So I think I hit the geofence. Yeah, a distance of 33.4 foot and then bam, the copter came straight back to me. Okay, let's fly her backwards for a bit because why not? Right, let's stop her there. Okay, so I'm going to put her back in. Let's try speed mode three quickly. Oh, she's a little bit quicker now a lot quicker when she's flying she feels really stable you have total control i have no i do you know what i have more more confidence in this than i do in the bayang toys x21 in flying the bayang toys i wanted to keep it quite close to me with this though i am just wanting to take her out and i wanted to fly her and i wanted to make use of that movable gimbal and that camera okay i've pushed her into um, speed mode one now. Now you can turn off that geofencing by turning it, taking it out of beginner mode. This is something that we are going to be doing, but not in this video. This video is going to be purely just to see how the drone reacts, and then I'm going to charge this up a few more times over the next coming uh, coming days, and we're going to do another video with her very, very, very soon. Now we have still got quarter battery, so to be fair. This battery's lasting quite a while, but I have got her in speed mode one. Now, we have had a little look and seen how Follow Me works. We have had a little look. Wow, that's a really low plane. What's that doing coming over here? Hmm, that looks like, a, looks like a private charter. That's a little bit strange and also quite disturbing. Um, because this, this place is in, a no, it, it is in a fly zone. Uh, so I am allowed to fly, so that's a bit strange seeing that sitting in there. Although Bristol Airport is about 30 miles, 20 miles that way, uh, and he is turning, so maybe he's been redirected. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just brilliant. I really like this. The white LEDs you can see very, very easily. The blue LEDs you can see very easily as well. And if I just hover him above me for the second, then he's actually, look, he's actually pretty stable. There's no whirlpool now because he's out of follow me. Follow me, me was a significant whirlpool effect. One that I was not happy with whatsoever but he seems to have sorted himself out yes i am just in speed mode one i'm trying to maximize this battery i don't want this battery to turn red on me just yet but all in all i'm very happy with how this looks i'm very happy with how this is reacting it's very delicate in speed mode one as i'm sure you can see but at the same time it feels very 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 stable i have no problem whatsoever in thinking that I have got full control of this. And yes, there's teething problems. There's teething problems with every single drone, I'm pretty sure. Let's see exactly what this is like on the second and third flight that I've got planned for this. All in all, though, I'm very happy. 
I mean, I'm up at a height of, what have we got? A height of, I'm trying to just read this little thing at the bottom here, a height of eight, eight meters, I'm guessing that, eight foot? I'm not gonna say that's, that's meters. I'm gonna say that, no, I am gonna say that's meters because what am I talking about? I'm five foot eight and I'm not that close to eight foot. Uh, so yeah, that'll be eight meters, traveling at a distance of um, 10.9 meters per second, 14, no, traveling, uh, yeah, oh, there we are, low battery. So what I'm gonna do is just bring this down. Come on, little guy, come back into me. There we go, I was getting these numbers all mixed up. Right, there we go. Just one more thing, this camera is okay. The refresh rate is pretty good. See? It's not too bad at all. It's actually pretty good. Right, okay, I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna check my path. Path is fine. And then I'm just gonna bring her down. Quite nice. Oh, look how nice and gentle her, her descent is. That's all the way down as well, folks. And then she's gonna chew up the grass. There we go, and then she's gonna land. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that in this particular place because there is grass absolutely everywhere. <sighs> okay, so let me just stop the recording on here. Lovely, that should now get saved. I hope. I do like the low battery warnings in this uh, on this drone as well, where it says drone low voltage. <laughs> it's rather than it actually saying, yeah, drone, low battery, please return. It's just like, yeah, low voltage. There we are, screen recording has been saved. Perfect. And now the rain starts. Oh, what perfect timing. Let's talk about this transmitter for two seconds. Transmitter is fantastic. All of these little instruments in here, seeing exactly what speed you're in, whether you've used trim, whether you've used, whether you've used the gimbal movement, whether you've used record, follow me, everything is excellent on this transmitter. I really like those a hell of a lot. And the more quadcopter more quadcopter manufacturers could learn from those, because they're so easy to use, it feels like a gamepad in your hand, and it's super, super, super responsive. This guy started off a little bit flaky, but turned out to be really, really good, and I really like this guy a lot. We're gonna be seeing a bit more of this guy in the future. Let me just click, turn that off, there we go. Um, now, from a budget GPS photography drone, you can't really expect much. I don't really expect much, but this guy delivered quite well. Yes, there was quite a lot of toilet bowl. Yes, follow me didn't work very well. It started to, it came towards me, and then it just started doing loop the loops massively. I think I've had another quadcopter that's done that, and I'm going to say I think it's the S30. I believe. I'll double check my footage and correct me if I'm wrong. Um, gimbal moved with this one. That's a big thumbs up, massive thumbs up, because before the gimbal was flat. I couldn't move it, so I could only look in front of me, which is okay when I started to when I started to uh, positive pitch, because then I could see exactly where I was going. But I couldn't move that gimbal, therefore I couldn't hold it in, in front of me, and I couldn't get direct line of sight from that uh, from that gimbal. But all that being said, I really enjoyed this. Now this was in beginner mode. We are going to be taking back up in advanced mode. I am going to be showing you how to do that. As you saw when you go out, best part of 35 to, uh, what was it, 35 meters, I think? Uh, you hit the geofence and it just comes flying back towards you. That's good, I like geofence. And all of those things are very, very good little um, beginner things to have as well. Because when you're flying, you need, you need to know that you're safe and you can't just go off and fly for three miles. I really appreciate that. So there we are, folks. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.